today this uh, presentation on uh, the use of LiDAR data in a game engine called Unity. Uh, what you're seeing in front of you on the top left is uh, a game map, uh, basically um, the uh, playing field. What you see is uh, I threw a few uh, forest trees in and a, a character, it's called a third person uh, controller character in Unity. It's a default one, it's used in uh, through in a skybox and this is kind of the result you're dealing with here. You've got a character that walks around, and as you can see uh, with the LiDAR data, you've got the, your, uh, the black holes where the ponds are and all the vegetation layer. Um, and you'll see a lot of height map in here, because what I did is I used what's called a <coughs> normal map to uh, basically take the LiDAR data and bring it out um, to see uh, to, uh, a, a re relief on the terrain. Um, <coughs> one of the keys about the LiDAR data gives you a lot more detail um, both vegetation and uh, ground detail. How I did it, you can see in here there's a, just a simple plane um, and I'm using what's called a parallax specular shader and in there there's a base uh, material I've got in here of uh, a normal map, or sorry, a diffuse map and I'll bring that up to show uh, you the uh, diffuse map and um, diffuse map detail rather. Um, so I'll bring it in here, I'll call it, it's called lighter. So I'll bring this lighter. And what I use is for editing um, um, the, uh, the base map is uh, Photoshop. And one of the tools that we use heavily in, uh, in, in doing normal maps is the Endo plugin. So this was the original uh, lighter information that was uh, on the game engine um, that was brought into, uh, um, <laughs> into Unity. Um, one of the things that um, I was able to do from a point cloud data of LiDAR is use a, a set of tools and the tool set is available uh, open source. Uh, there is a license, a commercial license uh, issue but it's called the uh, LA, LAS tools and I was able to take a point cloud, cloud, cloud data and actually directly uh, create um, um, uh, a PNG with the uh, uh, LAS to DEM converter and this gave me the uh, nice PNG it was quite large in size it was 50 megs in size and then I brought it into uh, Photoshop which is this tool right here uh, that I was just showing um, right uh, just like here load it up <coughs> bring it up here I think I had it open, maybe not. Um, I must have closed. Uh, Photoshop is a tool that used to uh, um, edit the uh, the normal maps and scale up the maps to give you more relief and exaggerate the relief of the uh, of the train. Uh, another thing I use is uh, um, uh, a height map, and you can see it moving, and it allows me to adjust kind of like the uh, the level of the elevation. And even while I'm playing, I can adjust the height map to get a, um, a um, an idea of how it looks in real time. So I can go in here, and as I, if you look on the left, I can get near a um, near a pond, and I can go in and change the height map to see what kind of relief you have, and a value <coughs> that that suits the uh, the elevations about right here, just to give you a kind of a idea of a deep hole where that pond used to be. So these are pretty cool game tools. I put a skybox in here with a, a dawn dusk, <coughs> added a few trees from the forest pack and it's able to give me a, um, um, a kind of more realistic view of a terrain. I could easily add the original map view of the area. But the idea of see these uh, curves in the ground, these might be old um, geol ge geological features or geology that's underneath the ground and LiDAR allows you to look under vegetation layers and ground layers of the earth and it's bringing about a new age of archaeology and mining and environmental technology. So hopefully you enjoyed this presentation. Um, it's very technical but it just gives you an idea of some of the things that uh, we're working on in uh, research. Thank you very much.